Hi, I think this is the uh, fifth video in the playlist that deals with angles and straight lines. Now, it's um, a great C question, and I will write it in the description underneath. Um, hopefully, it'll be okay for you to follow this through. However, if you do need a quick refresher, if you have a look at the introduction videos, that will give you the four uh, things that you need to know when you're dealing with angles and straight lines. Okay, so um, with this particular question, we're only given that this is 74 degrees and what we're asked to do is work out this value of y at the bottom here. I hope you can see this okay on the video. But basically a lot of these questions follow the same sort of pattern. Uh, now this particular one is actually a five, no it's a four mark question. So it's worth four marks. And the reason it's worth four marks is because you have to give reasons for your answer as well. Okay, so the first thing is, is that, um, well, the first thing to notice is that at the bottom here, we've got a triangle, which is actually an isosceles triangle. And the reason we know that is that this and this are the same length. OK, so it's really important you remember that when we come to working through this particular question. The other bit of information we're given is that uh, D, E, F and A, C are parallel lines. OK, so the first thing I'm going to do is I need to get kind of closer to this isosceles triangle. Well, one of the things I do know is that I can use something called the alternate angles being equal. So if this is 74, it also means this angle here is also 74 degrees. And that would be kind of key in making sure that you answer this question. But actually here, we've got something like uh, this. So greatly exaggerated, I've got two parallel lines. And I know this is 74, so therefore this is 74, and it's called alternate angles of being equal. So if this is 74, I also know that this is a straight line. So what I've actually got is um, something like this, where this bit is the same as this bit, and this is the triangle here. And what I'm after is this angle Y at the bottom. But what I have worked out now is that this bit here is 74 degrees. OK, so what it will allow me to do then is calculate this angle. And that's going to be very important to me to be able to work out the base angles of this isosceles triangle. OK, well, the way I can work this angle at the top out is that it's a straight line. So therefore, it must be... The value here must be 180 degrees minus 74. So actually, the top of this particular triangle must be 106 degrees. OK, great. So we're now getting a little bit further forward with this particular question. So I'm going to just redraw that a little bit to show you that actually now I've got an isosceles triangle where this is equal to that. The two sides are equal and the top is going to be 106 degrees. So that's fantastic because it means that with it being an isosceles triangle, this angle, which is Y, so this one here, which is the bit we're trying to find out, is the same as this angle. OK, so we know that the internal angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So what I've got here is 180 degrees minus 106, which is the angle at the top. OK, so that leaves me with 74 degrees. So in other words, this angle and this angle added together is 74 degrees, and they're both the same. So if we split them in two, I've got how many twos are there in 74? Well, that's fairly straightforward. That's going to be 37. So in other words, this angle here is 37 degrees, and this angle here is 37 degrees. So this value of y is 37 degrees. OK, so in order to get the full marks as allocated to this particular question, you need to make sure that you're suggesting that you know about alternate angles being equal and also 
saying that you know this is an isosceles triangle and that the internal angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So you need to be able to write this down as you're working through a problem like this, but you should be able to achieve four marks relatively easily, um, providing you're aware of those two uh, particular parts of uh, the question um, as you're working through them. I hope that's been helpful. Please do add a comment below. I'll always come back to you. Please also subscribe to the channel. I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.